Why hello there city planners, Rodaman here. Thank you for tuning in to Farlanders, episode 6, Rowing a Big City. So this is a, um, a good example of why um, colony morale matters, is people stop immigrating as quickly if you don't um, carefully manage colony morale. And that's what bit me, is I had to wait a few more turns in order to, uh, to have immigrants come in as a result. I'm pretty good on water right now, in terms of what I'm producing. Ooh, and we found uh, we found an anomaly. And there's an anomaly in this water. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I am going to melt this water here. Revealing this anomaly, which is going to provide me science. Because water anomalies provide science. With that uh, terraform tech. Oh, there is the second doggo. Yeah. Hi, Tusk. She gets a treat, too. Alright, we hit 60 finally. Took me a while. But I think I'm still on track for the timed objective of uh, 200 pop by, by turn 80. And here is our specialist. So at this colony level, we get govern government subsidy for happy colonists... Uh, we can buy terraforming tech, we get some science, we get some food, we get some electronics, we get worker salaries, and a specialist. So I'm going to have you guys decide what specialist. I think my polling is down for the overlay. So I'm going to have to use Twitch polling. We have a comedian. An architect. Or an entrepreneur. I'll give you just two minutes to vote. So the comedian provides some extra happiness if the colony has a restaurant and it unlocks a, a party called a comedy roast. Um, the architect allows you to uh, get refined metals and glass at a uh, full refund when you demolish. And the entrepreneur grants extra uh, money per turn for each community center and extra money for each unemployed colonist. And it might end at this poll early, depending on how people vote. If you're wondering what a restaurant is, a restaurant is a community morale bonus um, that you build on top of like a house tile, converting the house into a restaurant. And then the restaurant needs to be funded by a special type of greenhouse, which produces spices instead of food. Just to let you know. So it's... um. So it's a pretty strong option, but it does require you to specialize uh, a greenhouse, which is fine. It's 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 a good option um, for morale. And then the architect obviously is full rebun. I do use the undo, um, and then of course you can also break down things that same turn for full refunds. It's kind of like a hey, I plan to do this, but let, let let's change the plan. And the entrepreneur is just like blanket extra money depending on how many community centers we have. All right. Just 10 more seconds to vote if you haven't voted already. And I got my coin ready, but it's two sided, so don't have a three way tie. <laughs> oh, great. Three way tie. Uh, the poll is built into Twitch, the uh, overlay polling is broken right now. Entrepreneur, all right. Not the botanist that uh, Marco was hoping for, but oh well. It's all RNG. All right. I know that I absolutely need to blow up that mountain in order to gain access to a significant amount of additional farm land. So let's do that. And I'm actually gonna buy this pattern because this pattern ultimately helps me out more than that one. Because I can also fill in this canyon, or this canyon, which will open up more farming opportunities. Uh, I'd like a trade shuttle, but I don't have commerce yet. I also want um, I want to start working on the life on Mars. So part of the side objective is to grow moss and build a park. 
and growing moss requires life on Mars. And then a park requires advanced farming, which requires efficient housing. And efficient housing unlocks the uh, community center, which I kind of really, really, really need in order to repair community happiness because this factory is really loud. So um, let's get that as well. I should turn off my factory, too, because I'm maxed on minerals. Oh. This deposit... Okay, yeah. I'm trying to plan out where I'm going to hit my next deposit. Maybe this one? It's going to be my next mineral deposit. Because this pattern here allows me to, to grow a deposit. But let's use this pattern to blow up the mountain and fill in the canyon, allowing us to grow more food. Also, in that last poll, I probably would have done Comedian. Um, Colony Morales is kind of important. And that's likely what I would have done. Ooh, entertainment facilities is an option here. Okay, knowing that that is an option, I am going to make kind of a radical decision and do the pattern like this, where I'm going to put silicon deposit in the middle here. So the reason I did that is a statue can be built on either minerals or silicon, and it produces um, significant happiness around it. So now that I have a silicon node right in the middle of all my houses, you can see that that can provide like a pretty serious benefit if I unlock statues. So that's like way down the line kind of planning, but um, uh, there might be an opportunity sometime in the future to exploit that. Uh, unfortunately for me, the shovel patterns suck. The shovel patterns don't help me with this farm at all. Um, how's my water? I'm going to have access to this water soon. Or, alternatively, I could farm out here, too. Farming out there might not be a bad idea. Uh, so taking a look at these patterns, I need to clear out this. So maybe this shovel pattern is actually something I'll buy. The other thing I wanted to do is to start... Oh, I don't have commerce. Never mind. Can I relocate a factory to another place? Uh, no, because factories are built on, on mineral nodes, and you can't just, like, move mineral nodes around. You can build another factory, but you can't just, like, move a factory. You can destroy one and build a new one. Alright, that, uh, this is at max size. There wasn't any anomalies. And then, this is probably, yep, that's at max size. There was one rock anomaly there. I'll get it if it's convenient. All right, 10 more people pushing towards the 200 goal. Hoping for a good terraforming pattern right now. Please. Yes, this is a really good pattern. So this pattern can allow me to... Uh, to... Maybe like that. Open up a lot more farming for myself. And that way I can support a growing population. Food's breaking even. I do need to address power. All right, power's good. And uh, water. So the question at this point is where to get my water? Do I hit this, uh, do I pump water here? Or I could also do water condensers. Although that's a really expensive stopgap measure that requires a lot of terrain. I might actually do water condensers. Um, 
I can also melt this water. Yeah. Yeah. But I might want to farm there. I'm working, I'm, I'm essentially working to farm this area. So yeah, maybe what I'll do is I'll melt this water for, for pumping. Because it's not too far away from my uh, high capacity water infrastructure. Which it can get next turn. I think that's a, a good plan. In terms of the tre tech tree, I also now have the ability to get luxury housing. Which gives me the ability to build a noise filter. Alternatively, I could get commerce. And or underground expansion. And I have a feeling between... Well, you know what I could also do is I could have you guys vote. I'll pull for that. What tech to unlock? Underground. Commerce. Lux housing. Um, or save it. Or or, um, or, or get uh, advanced farming. So the uh, advanced farming leads to the statue and also the park. So that um, the park is part of the side mission. The side objective. So I'll have you guys vote on that. I should get a community center, though. There's uh, no reason I haven't built one of those. I want to build the community center here, though, where the mountain is. Alright, water's good. Gotta fix power. Power's good. Alright, everything's green. Cool. Let's plan on... Oh, yeah, not that. Let's plan on blowing up that, uh... Blowing up this mountain and filling in this canyon next turn. And then also expanding the farms. Much expanding the farms. Usable pattern. Alright, perfect. So now, with a little bit of terraforming tech, I can build the um, community center. Move its center of management so it covers all of the houses I've built so far, which is awesome. Uh, you guys voted for me to get advanced farming tech. Done. Which leads to entertainment and floor under the dome. I haven't bothered with the park and moss just yet. I'm still um, working on a lot of the other stuff, which is uh, which is required first. But uh, Colony Morale is going to be shooting up here in a second. Now, the other thing is, with the morale going up and the population going up, um, I'm going to need to grow even more food. But, uh, and another big thing to consider is I sort of desperately, desperate is maybe too harsh of a term, but I am going to need to get glass soon. And I don't have a good source of glass at the moment. Um, this anomaly has glass, but I don't have access to this anomaly and then of course there's a silicon deposit here but i don't have access to that either so um buying terraform tech i should consider opening up paths to get glass which would be maybe this one and because i bought one terraforming tech i'm not going to have space for all 20 immigrants next turn but i only want 10 of them anyway because 20 would, um, would probably cripple our food production. 
I don't want to turn in the factory just yet. I wanted to wait for that immigration wave because um, it would have turned those immigrants away. But now that the immigrants are here, guess what? Factory's making you unhappy again. <laughs> I was doing that on purpose. I just didn't say so out loud. I think this solar field is kind of at a maximum. I, I, this is in shadow and um, building here would block the underground passageway. So I'm gonna need to start a new solar field elsewhere. And uh, up here seems okay. So in order to gain access to the silicon, I just need, um, actually I need to blow these up too. Cause uh, I need, I'll need a tunnel through here. So more TNT would be good. I'm bankrupting myself for TNT though. But I'm gonna do it. I need that glass. This is uh, really convenient. So if I use the TNT here, and then use this pattern I was just offered, I can remove all of that wasteland. Meaning that um, between me and the silicon deposit is one wasteland and one canyon, which is um, not that insurmountable. And I can buy this pattern here to get rid of this wasteland, which leaves me with just a canyon left to, to contend with, which is, uh, which is, is pretty manageable. Now, if I wanted it urgently, I could also blow up this landing pad and just run the tunnel through the land where the landing pad is, but I'm not that desperate for glass. Oh, wow. That is a lot of pattern. So at this point, what I need to be considering is um, adding more housing, because uh, I'm at max housing and I need to get up to 200. So maybe set up another housing district over here as a, as a future project. But if I'm going to be adding housing, uh, I'm going to need to feed people. So... What I can do is either start to terraform this section. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Is start removing the wasteland here. Maybe there's a better pattern for that. Because I, I want to open up... Um, what I'm thinking about is I want to open up this spot for uh, farming, right? Something like that, maybe, or this. Um, but I need to get rid of this wasteland to even get the farms out that way. And what farming I have left available to me is this corner, these two corners, or this side and this corner. So I could also put uh, uh, put terraform tech like this. That might be the best use of it. It only uses two of the four spots, um, but that solves some food scarcity sooner than later. And use that pattern.
So now all that stands between me and the, the Sulcon mine is um is this wasteland, which is not a big deal to overcome. So I'll start. Uh, I'm about to max out on refined metal, so I'm going to start putting the tunneling for it. Spending those metals. And then the, the power line. So now oh, it's just one one tunnel there. I do get a terraforms arrive next turn, and I don't have money to buy one, so I'll just wait for that. What would be good is if I saved up for uh, commerce so I can start selling my excess resources. I'm also thinking about maybe putting the um, next housing unit here because I already have the infrastructure for it. Because I don't really have infrastructure over here yet, like tunneling. But if I put it here, I could start building up the next, um, the next uh, center of housing, as long as I keep it far enough away from the silicon deposit, the glass refinery. So this is as far east as I would go. So yeah, I, I like that. Which means like putting a house, like putting my houses, you know, here and over, I guess. And that way I won't have to sound insulate. So I'll start doing the, um, uh, buying the infrastructure for that as well. Big urban planning. All right, this, this, this works. That clears it. Glass is going. And the house is going. And we want to get the pop up to at least 100 would be ideal. Because at 100, uh, we will get some additional tech. So now we have pop capacity up to 105. All right. The big and expensive thing now is uh, is to make sure that I have enough food production to be able to feed those 20 more pop. Um, so we either have to tap this fertile ground or start terraforming these two corners here. But these are only a potential of two farms, whereas there's a lot more potential over there. So buying terraform tech to remove this wasteland so I can get out there would be good. And the cheapest one is maybe one of these two. So I'll just buy the cheapest. So now our pop's gonna hit 100, and we're gonna have more research opportunities. But uh, resources are gonna plummet <laughs> for a bit. Research opportunities. Well, um, the wind condition required under the dome, so I'm going to get that. And then I have 12 left. So with the remaining 12, uh, let's see if the overlay pulling is running right now. It looks like it's down. So I'm going to have to pull on Twitch again. What research? Uh, entertainment for statues. I could also get Commerce, Lux Housing, or Underground. Up to you. So my power is in the negative, water is in the negative, food is in the negative. Food's what I'm going to be most concerned about, because it's really easy to add water and power. Uh, so I'm going to start working towards food, meaning... ...building the required tunnels out to this fertile zone. And then also, potentially, buying a lump sum of metals to be able to facilitate that quicker... ...is then going to be pretty critical. 
Um, with some of the excess glass I have, I could also turn some of the regular houses into um, nicer housing units. Which is the whole reason I tapped that silicon. Oh! Opportunity to make water. Alright. Is there a strategic spot that would be useful for me to make water? If I, um... So if I made water here, that would have adjacency with the other farm. But it would run into my planned colony, which would be a problem. If I made water here... In this spot, that would have adjacency of the farm I'm planning to put in, but it wouldn't have a lot of fertile soil immediately. If I put water here, that would be frozen, but once I unfroze it, it would have a few fertile tiles nearby. I could also put water here. Uh... And that would have uh, immediately some fertile zones. That's... Mm, this... Spot might be my favorite. Even though it's, like, less usable in the long run. Yeah, I think this is my favorite of the options. Unfortunately, it's only one spot of terraforming that it's um, using. The other two tiles aren't, aren't doing anything. Which is too bad. Is there a way to do it over here instead? Oh, well, I wouldn't... I'd want it more like this. Yeah, I actually like that more. It's easier to turn um, sand into fertile soil than it is to turn canyon into fertile soil. So I'll put it there. Canyon and, canyon and mountains are hard to terraform, or sand and is easier to terraform. All you need is ground stabilizers. Alright, we're already breaking even on food. So then, addressing power and water. Water's a little trickier because there's water out here, but I don't have access to it. Um, the alternative, of course, is to put a bunch of ground uh, uh, water condensers in, which is okay. It gets us a little bit of water. I, I would need six of them, meaning I would need to spend 60 glass in order to get that, which is kind of expensive. Um, what did you guys vote for? Poll results. God, where is my, where is it on my mod, mod view? <laughs> what was it? I'm having trouble bringing it up. It's like bugged. Let's see if there's any uh, terraforming. So if I earned a lot of money, I could buy water, but that's way above my price point. But let's quickly analyze what it would take to get this water utilized. Actually, I do have a path. If I go through here and up and around, I can get to this water. It's, um, it's gonna be very metal expensive. So I'll start to buy the metals to be able to for that route. But there's two nodes of water here. I only have access to the southern one. Um, but it wouldn't take very much to gain access to the northern one. So, yeah, I like that. It's not great, but I like that more than the alternatives.
So we're, we almost have the plumbing out there. It's a lot of metal. But I think it's worth it. This is not bad. This, these terraforming forms allows me to, um, to add fertile areas and then to also add minerals, which is a pretty good combination. So if I did it like this, I get the most bang from a buck of two more fertile zones and some minerals. I like that. It's good. I don't have access to the minerals immediately. I would need to clear out this uh, wasteland, but I know that I'm going to want to clear out that wasteland anyway to gain access to this fertile soil. That's a pretty good trade. Uh, what was the result of that last poll? Don't mind me asking. My, a lot of my like overlays are kind of broken right now, which is annoying. Um, all right. Terraforming forms. So let's see. Trying to remove that wasteland. I could do this here. That would remove that wasteland. And that would open up a lot more uh, colonizing, which is good. And then continuing with that uh, pump line. The high capacity line out here. And then we'll want power out here as well. One of the other advantages to running power out this way is I'll be able to do the uh, debris analysis for the glass and the electronics because I'll have power nearby. I wouldn't mind buying some extra metal though because this is an expensive expansion project. So there we go, now I have access to the minerals and uh, one more shovel and we'll have fertile soil there or a stabilizer, but probably a shovel given my water limitation. So next turn I'll have that pump. So the massive water shortage is not a problem anymore. And I'll start the debris analysis for the electronics. And I wouldn't mind getting the glass, too. Um, speaking of glass, we have enough glass right now to improve a whole bunch of the homes. But I don't have enough glass for the other anomaly research camp. Looking, looking good. This pattern's pretty strong. All three uh, terraforming tiles are used as a result. So I think I like that most. I don't really see anywhere else where it would be more useful than here. So let's do it. Fixing the water shortage. Done. And and then some. And, uh, and now we want to push for the 200 people. Uh, and then once, once I sort of um, increase the pop a bit more... Um, I will bother with the moss. Let's 
Let's get a few more nicer houses. Okay, that's all I can afford. And then the anomaly camp. Cool. So, starting to allow migration again. So one of the benefits of biomatter, of getting mosses and, and parks going, besides the fact that um, luxury houses, this luxury housing will have benefits being adjacent to mosses and grasses, is that um, you will get subsidies paid for even putting grass and moss on the map tile. So if we are starting a new colony out here, it would be good to get grasses and mosses either next to these this cluster of houses or this cluster of houses. So that's another thing to consider while we're terraforming, is to start working towards um, getting mosses in these areas. Which means I want to, uh, I want to maybe fill in this canyon so that I, I have space here. I'll buy that. And then... I also want to get rid of this mountain, but there's not a pattern that allows me to do that. This pattern won't work for me. There we go. Remove two wastelands and add one more fertile tile. That couldn't be used any better. There we go. Producing a lot of food. And then we have space for some additional housing here and, and here once we have the metals. I don't have the metals at the moment. Um, our factory is going to go bye-bye in about six turns. So another thing I need to be considering is making my way out to this mineral deposit to tap that mineral deposit uh, which means removing this wasteland to have a valid tunneling path out that way. Um, so let's go ahead and buy a shovel. And then also potentially buy some additional metals so I can get this factory up and running, knowing that this factory is going to be defunct in just a few turns. Uh, so planning ahead. That's a lot of electronics from that debris. Swanky. Right, these houses are pretty swanky houses up here now. All right, so the uh, that wasteland's gone. And we'll start running the tunnels out this way. So you can see how I, I lined up the solar panels. I knew that I would want to gain access to these minerals later on, so I don't have solar panels that were blocking the way. Because I, I surprisingly thought about that ahead of time. So here we go. Uh, next turn, I should be able to get the factory up and running there. I'll have enough uh, metals. Cool.
Thank you for watching Farlanders, which originally streamed live on Twitch September 5th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community, Rodamont.com or the description of this video have a link to Discord. Thank you so very much for watching and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I'll catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Martians. <laughs>